So I start off with a piece of one inch thick raw stock, aluminum, cut roughly the size. First thing we're going to do is put it in the vise and do some drilling operations. This here I'm just doing a pre-drill. I like to put cutting oil down into the pre-drilled holes. Especially on something this deep, that in combination with the spray mist seems to work well. Here I'm using a half inch end mill, which you can tell by the burr it left, it uh, probably needs to be replaced. I'm going to cut the inside perimeter here. Now for the roughing pass, I've got a 3975 as my RPM at 15 inches a minute. And the finish pass, which is coming up real soon, is also 15 inch a minute but I went up to 4200 RPM. Spray some WD on it. It seems to give me a really nice finish. Turns out that half inch end mill wasn't as dull as I thought. It had a chip in the tooth. So to do the outer perimeter, I bolted it to a fixture plate and I switched to a 5 8 inch tooth flute. This one was still coated in wax, so I'm assuming it was brand new. Taking an eighth inch depth of cut, 15 inch a minute, 39.75 for the RPM. And same thing for the finish pass, 4200 RPM, 15 inch a minute, and a little WD to help that finish out. So let's get it out of there, see what we got. Deburred the edges. That finish looks really nice. I like that end mill. Need to sand those faces off a little though. I head over to the belt sander and take care of that. I'll be right back. There we go, that's better. One inch spacer for a Weber DGV carburetor. Thanks for watching.